chain of responsibility. The chain of responsibility is a behavioral pattern used to achieve loose coupling in software design. In this example, I will have a client and the client will get a message and it will pass it to what is called a successor, which I'm calling next down here. And that will then process it and then pass it to the next in line and process it next in line, process it and then it's finished. Now this is created, this process is created at runtime and the logic within the process here has the option to change or to process the information recursively. So I could go back to next one process, next one process, and then go to next two if you wanted to, or just go next one straight to next three. It's up to you. Basically all the components don't really know much about each other other than they're next in the line. And so in this demo, I'll create an ATM, a hole in the wall. It gives you money, it converts digital money into paper money. What it'll have is a, an interface called our handler. It has two methods, one handle and one set successor. That's the same as the process and the next in my previous image. And then there are three concrete classes which all implement the I handler interface. So they have the same methods. One dispenses tens, one dispenses fifties, and one dispenses twenties. And the chain will be set up in what's called a client. And the client uh, will hard code the chain here, one, two, three. So depending on the amount you import, it will give you as many fifties as required, as many twenties, and as many tens needed. So let's get coding. Okay, so I've created a file called atm.py. What I'm going to do is rather than typing it all and seeing all my typos while I do it, I'm just going to copy and paste each of the sections and describe them. So I'm importing ABC meta, an abstract static method, which I often do when I'm making interfaces. This is my interface. This is the bit here, the iHandler. So iHandler, the interface for handling requests. Abstract static method set successor. That's the next the next handler in the chain and the handle We handle the event now. Let's create some concrete classes which implement the I handler first one First one will be the dispense 50 Concrete handler dispenses 50 pound notes I'm using pounds if applicable otherwise continues to successor Okay, so we initialize the successor. There is no successor at this point. Anyway, we set the successor and that will be whatever we say the successor is. And this is the handle, the handle event. If amount is greater than or equal to 50, we do a floor division on the, on, the, on the amount to see how many 50 pound notes we'll need. And with the remainder, we'll pass the remainder to the, to the next successor in line. I mean if the amount was less than 50 it would just go straight to the to the next successor which would be the dispenser 20 which is it's almost identical function as the dispenser 50. The only difference is is it it looks at 20s and then if any of there's a remainder it will take it to the next in line and that would be the dispenser 10. It's exactly the same Except it uses 10 pound notes. 10, 10, 10, and 10 down there. Now, so we've just done the handler and the concrete classes which implement the handler. Next, do the ATM dispenser chain. This is the client, and this is where the chain is hard coded as soon as we start up. So here we go. This is a class called ATM dispenser chain, the chain client. Here I initialize the three dispensers, 50, 20, 10, and then I next I set their order. So chain one, set the successor as chain two, chain two, set the successor as chain three. So there we go, that will then follow the pattern as outlined in this image. The client, next process one, next process two, next process three, finished. Excellent. Now let's uh, test that out. If name equals main, let's uh, create an ATM. ATM equals ATM dispenser chain. And the uh, amount we'll get from the console. Amount equals integer input. Enter, enter an amount. 
uh, to withdraw. Okay. Uh, yes, and uh, if the uh, amount is less than ten or amount mod ten is not equal to uh, equal to zero. Uh, we'll print uh, enter um, an amount, enter uh, a positive amount, uh, and in multiple of tens. Okay. So, and then we'll just exit there. Else, uh, atm dot uh, chain one dot handle the amount and this is where the chain starts and then at the end we will just print go spoil yourself now go spoil yourself now go spoil yourself excellent let's give that a test so python atm.py enter an amount to withdraw 130 dispensing two fifties one ten twenty and one ten now go spoil yourself it's excellent what happens if i do something wrong like an 11. enter a positive amount and a multiple of tens okay let's uh try negative number minus 10 enter a positive okay uh, one 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 zero let's see what that does that is that many 50 pound notes dispensing one note 10 note and now go spoil yourself thanks for watching remember to like comment subscribe and share